and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be teaching you how to download and install Aristois 1.8.9 Act Client. As you can see, there's a ton of features, nice UI, just so many good things about this client. And it's super easy to install. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the link in my description. Yes, it is my website. I know it's a Wix site. I'm working on getting a domain and stuff, but just press the download button and it should bring you to this link and yep, click that and then go to destination and then you just scroll down, click it again. It'll give you a little countdown. While you're waiting, you can watch or, you know, read any of the articles. And then you're going to have to press the button a couple times. It's, to be honest, it's just some ads, some pop-ups. But once, after you click it a couple times, it brings you to the page. Just go ahead and X out of all of those. Don't even bother with looking at them. Then press the download button. It'll download, it'll say it's harmful. Of course, press keep, it's just fine. Now, we're gonna bring this right onto our desktop. And then, we don't need our, that window anymore. So we're gonna open it up, double click the jar file. That little thing should open. And then, choose the version you want. We're doing 1.8.9. If you want Forge, go ahead and click it. It'll install Forge too. But we don't need either, either of them. So we're just going to have both of them unchecked. Then it should install. Go to your Minecraft launcher. And now that it's all loaded up, just click your profiles. It should be right there. But if it's not, go to your installations, new installation. And you can just type in 1.8.9 or Aristois, and then it'll be that profile or version. Then you just press play and it should load you up and get you in. And now that we're in the game, I'm just gonna join a single player world. You can join multiplayer, they should work on servers. But any big server, you'll probably get banned right away because they got good anti-cheats. But now that we're in, we're just gonna you know, go over there. And what you have to press is right shift to open up the GUI, right shift. And as you can see, there's tons of things to choose from. Combat, movement, kill aura. You can right click it and you can customize most of them to what you want them to do. All this auto stuff, movement, flight, scaffolding. There's just about everything here. And yeah, that's really about it thank you so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments and subscribe if you want more tutorials or just guides in general thank you so much for watching and bye